had an extended car warranty service to insurance insurance company um, tried to get a claim on a part that they said was not a part on the car and still waiting results. But it is a spat. Um, I actually had back in 2000 and I would say about 2006, about 2016 or 17, I had bought a used vehicle from Enterprise Used Car Sales. And with the vehicle, I got the extended warranty. Um, when I bought the car, I only had like 32,000 miles. Now it has 54. So I understand that there is some routine maintenance that has to be done. Um, I have kept the car up to par by replacing tires, um, um, you know, required oil changes when needed. And so this time I happened to take my, the car to get an oil change and the technician told me that the car needed, um, he said it needed rear, he said one of the shocks were leaking. I said, okay, great. I don't know nothing about a car. So I thought I said, hey, isn't it covered under this extended warranty? And so um, I happened to call the warranty company and he, they told me, they said, well, if there are shocks, then the shocks are not covered. But if there are struts and those are covered, I said, OK, wow. The guy gave me an estimate at the shop of a thousand dollars. I said, well, you know, a push come to shove and I have to take care of that. Yes, I'm going to do that. So um, I take it to the shop to get them replaced. And they tell me, no, these are not shocks. These are actually struts. I said, wow, great. They said they'll only be 600 bucks for the two, blah, 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 600 and some change. I said, OK, great. I can afford that. But then I said, hey, they said that the warranty would cover shot i mean struts so the lady from midas called and spoke to the uh, representative at assurance assurance um assurance company they are the person that um holds the the auto warranty to the car um assurance a-s-s-u-r-a-n-t i believe that's it um but they that those are the warranty people and they told me oh no the car doesn't have struts those are um shocks I said, no, the technician at the shop, I said, the technician, the representative at Midas said these are struts. The box they came out are struts. Um, I'm looking at the receipt. It says struts. But you guys are telling me that these are shocks. I said, no, they're struts. Why would they call them shocks if they're struts? He said, oh, no, let me check with my lead. So he checks with the lead and the lead says something else. I said, you know what? Y'all can call them whatever you want. I'm taking this to a higher authority. So then I reached out to you guys at Piss Consumer. I wrote my little thing and someone actually did get in contact with me from Enterprise, but that's all they did. They got in contact. I sent them the information along with the receipt and what went on and they haven't got in contact with me yet. I also filed an appeal um, with the um, warranty service, Assurance, and it was that was so funny because then every email address they gave me to send the claim to, none of them worked. <laughs> none of them fuck I mean excuse my language. <laughs> none of them work. So I said, guess what? I had their fax number, so I faxed it off to them. I was supposed to be someone had broken our mailboxes at home, so I was supposed to be getting a letter from them. I saw it in the feed of my, the mail I was supposed to pick up in informed delivery, but when I went to the mailbox, the letter wasn't there. Hmm, go figure. So anyway, um I'm still waiting um for them to either because if they I mean, I'm waiting for them to honor the claim because regardless of what they say is on the car, I know what the part is said to be. I don't care any way they put it. They can put, bull I mean, the way they're trying to do it, it's like they don't want to cover the claim. And I feel that that is very wrong because I pay money for this warranty. But here it is. What am I paying for something if it doesn't honor what is supposed to? You know, I think that me being a consumer and gave my money up fairly, they should honor their part of the bargain. And if it had said uh, that this was a shock, I could have understood that. And I would have, I paid anyway, I would have paid that and paid it no mind. But here it is. It says strut there. Everything says strut. Like, it, you know, they say you can't, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's like you can't take a pig to the, to the park and then call it a dog. You feel me? Because it says strut here all the way across the board. So I just want them to be honorable and honor their own policy because it's like, what's the use of paying money for this policy that when the issue result comes up, you won't even handle what you're supposed to, you know? And then everybody seems like they're lying and everybody is trying to um, pass the book. That's why you're giving those bullshit ass um, emails that don't even work.
But, you know, I'm not stupid. I think that it's like people just do this and they deny you because they think you're going to give up. And I'm not giving up. You know, I work too hard for my money. And it's like, come on, why why deal with them if they're not going to handle this shit? What should the company do to regain your trust, to make you satisfied with the result eventually? They should honor their warranty and actually give me back my money. You know, it's not like I didn't, it's not like I didn't want to pay what was charged fairly or honestly. You see what I'm saying? So therefore, in order to regain my trust, just honor their contract. Let me pay my deductible and they can refund me back my money. But it's like, do not sit up in an office where you don't even manufacture a car and tell me where a part is when the mechanic that fixes cars is telling you what's right. And you guys are steadily saying, no, it's this, you know, and it's like, come on. They need to pull their heads out of their asses, you know, because the mechanic knows his business, you know. But it's like, here it is, you know, they could tell us anything in the manual, but hey, things change. What recommendations would you give to other customers of Enterprise for sales? Um, I would say that Enterprise is a great place. Um, I don't say nothing bad about Enterprise News Car Sales. The person, the people that helped me get the vehicle, they were very helpful. They were very professional. And I'm sure that they didn't foresee that the extended warranty company that they use would be as faulty as they are. Um, as far as if you're given a choice, as far as an extended warranty company, you can pick, do not, I repeat, do not pick a current or whoever they are, because these people will never honor. It seems like to me is that these people will give you the run around as long, they try to run you in circles like you're a dog chasing your tail, hoping that you will get exhausted and fall down and just give up. But hey, people are not giving up today. Today, money is too hard to come by. You know, so yeah, I wouldn't, I would deal with enterprise used car sales. They're excellent. But as far as picking an extended warranty company, if you have a choice, then you should pick someone else because assurance, uh uh. If I would have known this, I wouldn't, if I had a choice, I wouldn't have picked them because then you have some time to research and you can read the reviews online because, you know, too, too many people ain't gonna call you a duck if you ain't one.